In 2024, the James Webb Space Telescope pointed its instruments at a diamond planet 40 light years away. What it found breaks every rule we thought we knew about planets. This planet has an atmosphere that shouldn't exist. Temperatures that are 1,200 degrees colder than predicted. And chemistry that's forcing scientists to rewrite their textbooks. This is 55 Cancrii, the diamond planet. And nothing about it makes sense. 55 Cancri is what astronomers call a super-Earth, about twice the width of our planet and weighing eight times more. It orbits a sun-like star roughly 40 light-years from Earth. But here's where things get wild. This planet orbits its star so close that it completes one full year in just 18 hours. For over a decade, scientists thought they understood this world. They called it the Diamond Planet because it's carbon-rich, up to one-third of its mass could be pure diamond. A surface covered in graphite and diamond instead of granite and water. That was the story. Simple, elegant, a diamond planet floating in space. Then 2024 happened, and everything changed. When astronomers used the James Webb Space Telescope to study 55 Cancri E's atmosphere, they expected to find, well, nothing. Or maybe just vaporized rock. Instead, they detected something that shouldn't be there, a thick atmosphere containing carbon dioxide and carbon monoxide. Now you might be thinking, so what? Planets have atmospheres. But here's the problem. This planet orbits so close to its star that the radiation should have stripped away any atmosphere billions of years ago, like a cosmic leaf blower removing every gas molecule into space. Imagine trying to hold a soap bubble next to a hairdryer on full blast, it would pop instantly, right? That's what should happen to any atmosphere on 55 Cancri E. But this atmosphere is still there, which means something is constantly replenishing it. And then the temperature readings came in, and they made even less sense. Based on how close this planet is to its star, the day side should be around 4,000 degrees Fahrenheit. That's what the math says. That's what physics predicts. The actual temperature? 2,800 degrees Fahrenheit. That's a 1,200 degree difference. That's not a rounding error. That's a massive gap that breaks our models. Something is cooling this planet down. Something is pumping fresh gas into the atmosphere. And that's when scientists started questioning everything they thought they knew. What if we got the whole diamond planet thing wrong from the beginning? What if 55 Cancri isn't as carbon rich as we thought? What if there's way more oxygen and silicate minerals, like the rocks on Earth, mixed in with all that carbon? And here's an even wilder idea. What if there's a subsurface ocean beneath all that diamond? Think about Jupiter's moon Europa, or Saturn's moon Enceladus. They have oceans of liquid water buried beneath miles of ice. What if 55 Cancri has something similar, but instead of ice on top, it's diamond and magma? But before we dive into that possibility, Let's talk about why this diamond planet shouldn't have an atmosphere in the first place. Because it's so close to its star, 55 Cancri E is tidally locked, just like our moon. One side permanently faces the star, baking in endless daylight. The other side, trapped in eternal darkness. The temperatures on the day side reach up to 3,900 degrees Fahrenheit, hot enough to melt most metals. Under those conditions and the crushing pressure, carbon crystallizes into diamond. Earth is made mostly of oxygen, silicon and iron. We're an oxygen-rich world. But 55 Cancri E is the complete opposite. It's carbon-rich. Think of it like baking. Earth is like a cake made mostly with flour and water. But 55 Cancri E is like a cake made almost entirely of chocolate and sugar, completely different ingredients. When scientists calculated the planet's mass and size, they realized something incredible. This planet could have a diamond layer potentially thousands of miles thick. Picture a mantle made of compressed diamond and at the core, probably iron, like Earth. That's why the atmosphere is so baffling. At these temperatures, this close to a star with this much radiation, there shouldn't be any gas left. So where is this atmosphere coming from? Scientists have a theory, but it raises more questions than it answers. Here's what they think might be happening. 
Beneath the surface of 55 Cancri, E, lies a global magma ocean. Picture the entire planet's interior as a churning sea of molten rock, temperatures so extreme that rock doesn't just melt, it boils. This magma ocean could be constantly outgassing, releasing carbon dioxide and carbon monoxide into the atmosphere, just like a volcano on Earth releases steam and gas. So here's the cycle. The magma ocean releases fresh carbon gases every single second. The star's radiation blows some of it away into space. But before it can all disappear, the magma ocean pumps out more. It's a constant battle, creation versus destruction happening 24-7. On Earth, we have volcanoes that release gas in specific spots. But imagine if our entire planet was one giant volcano, constantly erupting gases from every square mile of surface. That's what would be happening on 55 Cancri E. Scientists calculated that this magma ocean would need to release about 10 million tons of gas every single day just to maintain the atmosphere we're detecting. That's roughly the weight of 2,000 space shuttles worth of gas every single day. But here's what really keeps scientists up at night. For a magma ocean to stay liquid and keep out gassing for billions of years, it needs a constant energy source. The star's heat helps, but is it enough? Or is there something else going on deep inside this planet? Something we haven't figured out yet? And that brings us back to that wild possibility nobody's talking about. What if there's water down there? If water exists deep inside this planet, the extreme heat could be breaking those water molecules apart, splitting H2O into hydrogen and oxygen. The hydrogen escapes into space because it's so light, but the oxygen? It stays behind and combines with carbon to create the carbon dioxide and carbon monoxide we're detecting. It would be like Earth's water cycle, but on steroids. Instead of rain and evaporation, you'd have a cycle of water breaking apart, releasing gases and potentially reforming deep underground. If there is water down there, that changes everything we thought we knew about extreme planets. Because unlike other extreme planets that follow our models, worlds with glass rain or egg-shaped orbits that make sense within our physics, 55 Cancri E is breaking the rules. And that's what makes it so fascinating. When a planet doesn't behave the way it should, it means we're missing something big. So what happens next? The James Webb Space Telescope is scheduled to observe 55 Cancri E again in the coming years. Scientists want to map the atmosphere in even more detail, looking for specific chemical signatures that could solve these mysteries. They're searching for answers to questions like, is there really a subsurface ocean? How thick is the atmosphere actually? Are there rapid atmospheric changes we haven't detected yet? And most importantly, what is this planet really made of? Here's why this matters beyond just one weird planet. We've discovered over 5,000 exoplanets so far. And every time we find one that breaks our models, it teaches us something new about how planets form, how they evolve, and what's possible in our universe. Think of it like solving a puzzle. We thought we had the picture figured out. Diamond planet, simple story. But then we found pieces that don't fit. And those mismatched pieces? They're often the most important ones because they reveal we were looking at the wrong picture all along. 55. Cancri E is out there right now, 40 light years away, defying everything we thought we knew about planets. And the next time the James Webb Telescope points at it, we might finally get answers, or we might discover the mystery goes even deeper than we imagined. If you want to explore more cosmic mysteries that challenge our understanding of the universe, hit that subscribe button and join the Space Vault. We're diving into the strange signals, unexplained phenomena, and mind-bending discoveries that make space so fascinating. What do you think is really going on with the diamond planet? Magma ocean? Subsurface water? Or something we haven't even considered yet? Drop your theory in the comments. I read every single one. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.